With gas prices being so volatile and many regions seeing prices over $5 a gallon, electric cars are now three to six times cheaper to drive in the US than gas-powered vehicles. Doesn't it seem like gas prices always go up when the tank is empty? You think it's time to switch to an electric car? But then I gotta plug it in and charge it every night. There gotta be a better way. What about this? What if we could just charge the car while driving? I'm going to rent a Tesla and build me a range extender so I never have to stop for charging. What we need is a generator, a power inverter and this lithium battery pack that I have built. The generator was way too heavy to lift into the trunk of the car and that meant that I had to take it apart first. Originally I built it with two 45 pound plates but one should be just fine. And of course it was 90 degrees on the weekend when I had time to install it in the trunk. Sweating like an idiot. My biggest fear is that the flywheel gets loose in the car. That wheel goes straight through the window or the roof. I wouldn't exactly call it the most comfortable workplace, but hey, it could always be worse. A little jiggling and wiggling and it fits perfect like a glove. I built this battery pack out of 360 recycled lithium batteries. On the top is a link for it if you're interested to see how that is made. Now I'm hooking up the inverter and because I could only fit 240 batteries into the cooler, I have to connect this pack of 120 batteries externally. Let's give it a try. Oh, that scared me. Now let's plug in the motor and the Tesla charger and try it out. So we're gonna try the 16 amp charger. Let's charge this puppy up. Whoa, there's smoke. That's probably not good. Ah! I smell some smoke back here. Where's the fire extinguisher? Well, that looks easier in the movies. Oh my god. It doesn't burn anymore. Am I supposed to break this tap off? Probably not. They say every second counts in a fire. It looks like the problem is that the flux capacitor caught on fire. We've only two more days left before I have to return the Tesla. I'm running out of time. I gotta fix this problem before the sun goes down. Working until sunset, I was able to get everything done for tomorrow's test run. I'm setting up a remote so that I can turn on and off the inverter from the driver's seat. Now I just have to pull the charging plug through the window so that I can charge while driving. It's time for a drive up into the mountains.
Now let's take a look how it is charging the battery. The car actually seems to be charging. The current charge is for 144 miles and there are 40 minutes remaining until fully charged. Now we're at 204 miles. Have you seen one of those videos where somebody modifies a car alternator by adding permanent magnets to it and now apparently becomes so efficient that you can build a perpetual motion machine out of it? And then of course the ultimate proof that it works, plugging in a welder or a grinder. If that would really work, don't you think that somebody would have figured out by now that adding permanent magnets is what makes all the difference? These alternators are around since the 60s. And don't you think the news would have spread by now to all the engineers and CEOs of car companies? You really think Elon Musk is that stubborn? Will you be using permanent magnets like in that YouTube video? Um, permanent magnets, never, never ever. Sorry for dangling a carrot, but just like in those alternator videos, you have been fooled. This generator does not run from its own power and it would eventually just drain that battery. But because I wanted to use a very realistic fire and thought it would be unwise to set a fire in the car, I used a green screen for this scene. I did almost burn the house down when the green screen caught on fire. So don't lay fire in the house either, not very wise. Now don't try this at home, and it's also not quite as green and environmentally friendly as a perpetual motion machine, but this video is after all called Tesla Range Extender, so I do have a solution. You just have to roll all the windows down so you won't get carbon monoxide poisoning! Now by adding this little extension and a mirror to the steering wheel, I can lean out the window much farther and more comfortable. Smelling the fumes, hearing that generator noise in the back and feeling the wind in the hair. And now it's just like riding a motorcycle! Now if it is raining and you can't roll the windows down, like bananas all this rain, I have a solution for that as well. Two cappuccinos. Two cappuccinos. Two Talking through the gas mask seems to be a little bit of a problem. Two tall cappuccinos. I'm really sorry, I'm not that much up here. Two tall cappuccinos. Two caramel cappuccinos. Eh, you have to be willing to compromise sometimes. Pretty cool hazmat suit you got there. <laughs> <laughs> So with a well-planned snack sortiment and the occasional coffee stop... Three entire bags of Funyuns? Huh. Funyuns are awesome! I can make it now all the way down to Florida with one battery charge. I just received the low RPM generator I ordered. Because if I don't try that, I will never hear the end of it. You didn't use the right kind of generator. But if you want to see a real free energy generator, you have to watch this next video from my trip to Oklahoma City to the gravitational energy expert. 